Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra vs Galaxy Note 20 Comparison. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung's new power phones have arrived. The Galaxy Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra, which start at $1,000, £849 and $1,300, £1,179, respectively, were unveiled earlier this month alongside three other devices in a glitzy unpacked launch that was moved online due to the coronavirus pandemic. Both phones are packed with top-notch tech that, on paper at least, puts them among the elite ranks of the iPhone 11 Pro and UI P40 Pro. As well as boasting a striking bronze finish, both the Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra have similar core specs, including a cutting-edge Snapdragon 865 Plus processor, a 10-megapixel selfie camera, new S Pen gestures and 5G capabilities. But they have some key differences too. Firstly, the Note 20 has a plastic back instead of the new Gorilla Glen dollars. The pricier Note 20 Ultra has more bells and whistles, including a higher-powered camera with a 108-megapixel lens, faster refresh rate, 120Hz, and a Micros card slot. It also supports Nearby Share, Google's version of Apple's AirDrop feature. As expected, the 6.9-inch Note 20 Ultra is both the larger and heavier handset of the Duo, weighing a hefty 204 grams. Both stylus-equipped Note phones come months after the launch of the Galaxy S20 family in February. Apart from the visible industrial design differences, the phone sizes and the inclusion of the S Pen, one thing that's changed in the newer Note phones is the Space Zoom feature. Samsung's decided to backpedal on the S20 Ultra's hyped-up 100x Zoom. The Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra instead of reduced Space Zoom capabilities of 30x and 50x respectively. The company likely made this design decision to help drive down the price. The Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra sure look nice, with the Ultra bringing all of the features that Samsung can squeeze into a phone. Improved S Pen performance Super AMOLED 120Hz display. Both phones have impressive camera setups, Android 10, 5G connectivity and new S Pen gestures for remotely controlling your phone. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a 6.9-inch Super AMOLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate, Micros card support and 12GB of memory. The price depends on which of the two storage options you choose. 128 GB. 1299 dollar, 512 GB. 1449 dollars. As I said earlier. Samsung's Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra are stuffed with awesome tech that puts these phones squarely in the elite category, alongside the Galaxy S20 Plus and iPhone 11 Pro. With 5G connectivity, huge screens and the S Pen stylus, both phones are well equipped for office life. It has a standard camera look great, with plenty of detail, and a great balance of exposure between the bright and dark areas. Colors can look a bit oversaturated on occasion, something we've found to be the case on most recent Samsung phones. Well both phones. The biggest upgrade is in the resolution of the main camera, which tops out at 108 megapixels on the Ultra for improved zoom, which I'll come to shortly. The regular Note's main camera has a 12 megapixel resolution. Shooting at full 108 megapixels on the Note 20 Ultra produces huge 12,000 x 9,000 pixel image files, roughly 26 MB instead of around 3 to 4 MB 4,000 x 3,000 pixel images in the normal mode. It allows you to crop in much further to your image, but in my experience so far, there's not a huge amount of actual image detail, even at such a high resolution. At 100% crop, it's clear to see that you can get much closer into your images when using the 108 megapixel mode, but the details are very soft and fuzzy. The standard mode may not have the same resolution, but it seems to produce sharper images. My advice would be to leave it in the regular shooting mode. Both phones use optical image stabilization on their main camera lenses, which should help keep still images looking nice and sharp, while hopefully minimizing camera shake when shooting video. The Note that provides a 5x level of zoom. The standard Note 20's telephoto has a 64 megapixel zoom lens for a 3x hybrid, optical and digital cropping. The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra should be one of the fastest Android phones around, as it's one of the first handsets with Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 Plus processor. This chipset boosts the clock speed by 10% up to 3.1 GHz, and the graphics is also 10% faster than the regular Snapdragon 865 chip inside the Galaxy S20. Equipped with a fairly large 4500 mAh battery, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra should be able to last you through most of the day. We're most curious to see how well this phone lasts on our battery life test, given the dynamic nature of the phone's 120Hz display. 
with the 120 Hz mode on, we saw a dramatic decrease in endurance on the Galaxy S20 Ultra, with the phone running out of power 3 hours faster than when we kept the display at a 60 Hz refresh rate. To juice back up, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra includes a 25 watts fast charger, that should get you back to 50% capacity in 30 minutes. Samsung does not say if the Note 20 Ultra supports 45 watts charging, but it does support fast wireless charging 2.0. Multitaskers will also appreciate the improved DeX experience, which is now completely wireless, instead of requiring you to use a cable or dock to connect to a monitor. Now you can beam what's on your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra screen to a compatible smart TV from across the room, the TV needs to support Miracast, though. After some tinkering I was able to get the wireless DeX mode to work on my 55-inch TCL Roku TV. After connecting to the TV I could use the Note 20 Ultra screen as a touchpad to move the cursor around the display. Although the movement was a bit jerky, I enjoyed being able to pull up pics from the Google Photos app and show them on the big screen. I also tried streaming the Asphalt 9 racing game to the TV, but the gameplay stuttered. The Note 20 Ultra delivered better performance when playing Fortnite, using a PS4 controller, my 12-year-old son was able to play a match and make a couple of kills with not too much lag. Another key upgrade is linked to Windows integration, which allows you to access mobile apps on your Windows 10 PC. This should make it easy to send messages, make calls, syncs photos Note 20 Ultra can play more than 100 Xbox games. Titles include Gears 5, Forza Horizon 4, Minecraft Dungeons and Halo. The Master Chief Collection. Xbox Game Pass costs $15 a month, but when you pair the Note 20 Ultra with a game controller, it could feel like a mini console. And if you don't, the Note 20 Ultra benefits from a 240Hz touch latency that the regular Note 20 doesn't have. The fun gets underway September 15 when the service kicks off, so we'll report back with impressions when we can. It's clear based on the features and specs that the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is a superior phone to the Galaxy Note 20. But is the more expensive phablet right for you? For my money, I would prefer this phone's bigger and smoother 120Hz display, more powerful zoom, better autofocus for the camera, and more responsive S Pen. But I need to live with a phone a bit more to tell you whether it's worth such a high sticker price. If you don't want a stylus, the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra or Galaxy S20 Plus are both very good alternatives to Samsung's Galaxy Note series, as is the cheaper one plus on impressions on the Note 20 Ultra and an ultimate verdict. But right now I would say there's reason to be excited if you're a Galaxy Note fan. Well having said, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching.